I have a little fun thing. What is that little fun thing? People who've watched the show for a long time know that I have this great Christmas ornament that is Santa dragging a giant hippo in a sack. And when you press a button, it plays I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. Uh huh. And I've had it for years. And, um, well, I mean, Santa's fallen off and the hippo's arms have fallen off. And it's pretty broken because it's been dropped a lot and glued back together. We still have all the pieces. We just have to put it back together. But we tried to put it up this year. And then we pressed the button. this hippo a lot of tacos <laughs> <laughs> let me die let me die so yeah i think i have to retire this ornament and see if they still make it and get a new one i say we keep it but you know like we just kept pressing the button last night and cracking ourselves up <laughs> you can very very faintly hear the song in the background i don't know if my mic is picking it up but you can very faintly hear the song in between all the farting. <clears throat> I don't know what has to break in an icon <clears throat> for that to happen, but uh, yeah. <laughs> That's not how I remember I want a hippopotamus for Christmas going. No. <laughs> that poor ornament. Postmodern jukebox covered it. A lot of people sent it to me. What happened to, what did you do to that ornament? It's been dropped. Like, seriously, there's, our mantle has like four pieces that have yeah. fallen off it. Cause Peggy, Peggy played with it. Yeah. Peggy got a hold of it and knocked it around a bit. It fell. So like, there's supposed to be a Santa attached right here and an arm and another arm. Oh crap. I didn't mean to hit the button. That time. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> And See, I wanted to, I wanted to tonight when we came into this, I wanted to talk about a little bit of serious stuff, like my health stuff, like the fact that, yay, I don't have cancer. We found that out. This last week. Yeah, I'm, 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 I don't have cancer, but now you've got a hippopotamus farting and it's kind of, it's kind of stealing my thunder there. It's an entirely different kind of thunder. In fact. Sorry. It's okay. But yay, no cancer. <laughs> yeah. Um, big fans of not having cancer. It's. There's a lot to go into. Where I've got finally got to a specialist. Nine months later, thanks insurance. Hey, socialized insurance. You have a wait period. I pay for this. Shit. Yeah. Um, but I did make it in. Endocrinologist. They're they're uh, looking at me. A lot of technical stuff. A lot of stuff like about chemical chiral reflection, chemical stuff going on and um yeah it's chemistry it's weird um also here's a fun one i have an autoimmune condition that's that's i don't have cancer but i have an autoimmune condition which means my body has just has seen my thyroid and has decided to mercilessly kick its ass that it's the enemy yeah we don't know why it just decided one day I don't fucking like you, thyroid. I'm going to kick your ass. Yeah, that's no good. And the problem and autoimmune diseases go yeah. so long without being properly diagnosed. So I'm glad they caught it. The problem with this is because it is autoimmune, my immune system is reacting like I'm sick constantly. Which is it's draining my energy, it's leaving me um unwell and just it's screwing me up. Because my immune yeah. system is, is just like constantly. So what we're trying is we're trying some um, drugs and changing my drugs around to see if we can get my infl the inflammation of my thyroid down, which will be hopefully that works. And if it doesn't, they're going to have to cut it out. So I'm hoping that doesn't happen. Because that yeah. is going to be ridiculously expensive. And um, I mean, I will say I know people who've had that surgery and it's as 
organ removal surgeries go, it is one of the less severe ones. Well, yeah, because it's right here. Right. And you're 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 on thyroid hormone for the rest of your life then. Any, well, I want treatable. that anyway, so. Yeah. So it is very treatable and manageable. Any kind of surgery sucks, obviously, and it will cost an arm and a leg. So hopefully you don't need that. Hopefully they can get it straightened out. Fingers crossed. We'll see. But anyway, so yeah, that that's I'm trying. I I know things have been like not the best with output and whatnot. I'm trying. Um, I just you gotta I, look out for yourself first. I discovered this year that my entire body was screwed. Yay! And it's been Yay. It's, it's been messing me up. So, you know, like the day you're past warranty, shit just falls apart. It does. They give you that forty year warranty. Yep. Yeah. And you hit forty and one day, and like your limbs just start falling off. I wanted, I wanted that full extended warranty, but my parents are like, oh no, that's just a scam. It's just they, that's yeah. you know that's, they try to get you at the checkout. We're They're not like, buying are that. Are you really gonna live that long? Come on. Yeah. Forty five. Come on. All right. With that having been said, here we go. Time for the nonsense. Each week, oh. Catherine. Radio Dead Air audience go out in the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff, bring it back here for a little segment we like to call. What the fuck is wrong with you? But first, before we get to the horrible news. Hi, Hi. it's first. the internet. They love you. Oh, she's gonna growl. Mm -hmm. She's like, yeah, can I go now? Can I, can I go now, Mom? Okay. You so on. want her to be an internet cat, and she so does not want to be an internet cat. Yeah, none of my cats want to be internet cats. They're all like, can this be over? Dottie won't even come in this room anymore. Aww. It's like, nah, fuck that room. That's the exploitation room. Well, before we get to, uh, get to the horrible stuff, it is time for the new tradition. It's time for... Go what? We are checking in, for those of you joining us for the first time this week, we are checking in on the Yavla Goat. Uh, the Yavla Goat is is a tradition in the town of Yavla, Sweden, where each year they build, the, the natives build a giant straw goat, and each year the natives also try to burn the straw goat down. And it has, ha as, as many times as it stayed up, it has also burned down. So we have it. We have live coverage here. This is this is the uh, the uh, the live um, feed from Yavla. In fact, if the goat makes it three years in a row, that sets off Ragnarok. That's right. We 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 the, the end of all. Um, I like I like going through the years. They've been doing this since um, 1966. And let's see. Um, in yeah, 1966, it, the very first year, it was burned down. The next two years it survived, but then it was burned down again. Thank God. 1971, smashed to pieces. Wow. The southern merchants became tired of the goats being burned down and stopped constructing them. A natural science club in the school of Vasa took over and built a miniature goat. It was smashed. Um, 1972, collapsed. 1973, stolen. Okay. 1978, kicked to pieces. There's fire, 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 fire slash water. The Natural Science Club's goat was thrown into the Yavla River. Wow. Um, they gave it a Viking funeral. And the last two years before this, it had actually managed to survive. Let's see if we're going to make it three years with the Yavla goat managing to survive. And if so, it's all over. Trying to find the year where someone drove... Yeah, hit by a car, 1976. Wow. Someone drove a car into the goat. So, yeah, we're going to keep track of it. So far, it is standing. It is intact. We'll have to see if I'm it remains. I'm picturing that so. being awesome. I'm picturing them doing, like, a jump and bursting through the straw goat's, like, guts oh! on the other side. Uh, all right. So, um... Let's see here. Uh, first off, Walmart. Walmart, 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 Walmart. It's it's the holiday time, and of course, people are going to, to Walmart for their holiday shopping, and they're doing more and more of that online. Um, however, Walmart has done this sort of thing like Amazon, where it's letting 
different storefronts put their stuff. I love the look on your face. <laughs> different storefronts put their stuff on uh, Walmart to be available, and they put up this one. Yeah, Walmart, you... apo Walmart apologized for Christmas sweater with cocaine reference. <laughs> That's not Santa. That's Snowflame. <laughs> Snowflame feels same. no pain. White hair. Not the same. Mississauga, Ontario. Walmart is saying sorry for making available a Christmas sweater with an apparent drug reference. This sweater featured an image of Santa Claus behind a table with three white lines that look similar to cocaine lines. Below the image is the phrase, quote, let it snow. The sweaters sold by a third-party seller on Walmart uh, do not represent Walmart's values and have no place on our website, Walmart said in a statement on Saturday. We apologize. We have removed these products from our marketplace. We apologize for any unintended consequences they may have had. You know what the unintended consequence is? I didn't know this existed, and now I desperately want it. <laughs> Apparently, I can't buy it at Walmart. Where can I buy it? This is Amazon. this is my Christmas sweater. Amazon didn't give a fuck. I I want this. This is this is my this is this this is beautiful. Anybody complains to Amazon, Jeff Bezos is gonna be like, "Fuck you, peasant." This is art. This is this is gorgeous. <laughs> I want it. I want I want ten of them in different. I colors. like that the pile of cocaine next to him is apparently still in rock form. Yeah. Well, there's got just got a bunch of eight balls sitting right there. Bless you, Santa. Is that is that what the rich bad kids get in their stocking instead of coal? They get they get an eight ball. Yeah. <sighs> no, I want one. I want that because look at that. That the first thing I thought was I looked at that and I'm like, yes, that is the Christmas sweater I would wear. <laughs> I would not wear any of the others, but this one. This... Kind of when when you do your manic face. <laughs> I, yeah, exactly. I could see it. More Christmas shenanigans this time from Florida. They're getting started early this year. It's like it's it's like <laughs> they put out the decorations earlier and earlier. The stupid horrible shit starts earlier and earlier. Um from Florida. Florida woman steals Christmas wreath at gunpoint, shouts abuse at homeowner. Wow. See, this is why I don't decorate. A man in South Florida has described fearing for his family when a woman he did not know came up to his doorstep in the early hours of the morning, shouted expletives, and then returned with a firearm. She pointed at him as she robbed him of his Christmas wreath. <laughs> Surveillance footage of the dramatic incident around 2 a.m. on Tuesday in Hollywood, Florida, shows the woman ringing the doorbell before starting to shout at the occupants inside. She eventually left, but returned soon after with a weapon when uh, Sean P uh, Pereira... Maria Pereira. Pereira. Thank you. Opened his front door. She brandished a weapon at him. Um, before the woman left, she she said she broke things, banged around the house, and broke the gate at the back of the house. Before the woman left, she ripped down a Christmas door wreath. This is what blows my mind. She returned the following night and brought back the broken light, the projector light, as well as the wreath. Sorry, man. I didn't mean to. I, I had a bad night. My heart grew three sizes this day. <laughs> Is this the real war on Christmas? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell happened? You're a nutcase, Mrs. Grinch. <laughs> yeah, what the hell happened here? I'm thinking of, have you ever seen the Supernatural Christmas special they did in season three? Probably not. No. I just asked you if you've ever eaten poop, probably. But so they had, the whole premise was that the old pagan Yule gods were like eating people. And the way that they chose their targets was they made these specific wreaths out of meadow sweet, which is the summoning herb for them or whatever, and sold them. And then whoever bought them and hung them, they would go and eat those people. And they tried to eat Sam and Dean, and they pulled out Sam's fingernails, and it was a whole thing. It's a really good episode, but that's that's what my mind goes to. Like, she was just trying to save them. 
from the pagan Yule gods. I, I don't or 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 meth. Or meth, yeah. That's probably the more likely answer. They they haven't found her yet either. So she's still out there. I mean, at least sing some fucking carols. <laughs> God rest you, Mary, gentlemen, and let the, you dismay! I'm saying, like, at least something. This next story just made me feel good. It's from Thanksgiving, but we missed it. And I really wanted... I, we should we should, we should have had it, because it's wonderful. It's it's the feel-good story of the season. Disney needs to make a movie out of this story. Um, and it went missing their frozen turkey... I'm because Tara was big on Supernatural before she was big on Game of Thrones. I still watch Supernatural. Thank you. Anyone missing their frozen turkey? Dog caught with whole Thanksgiving fowl in the middle of the road. Oh no! What was this? What was this? What was this? What was this? <laughs> Look at him. He looks so pleased with himself, too. It was gone. <laughs> all gone. All the Christmas pie, the Christmas turkey, the Christmas ham. All gone. I hunted this for you. <laughs> it's really hard. The dog, which appeared to be a brown mixed breed, stood next to the holiday bird looking straight at the camera. Jenny Jones was driving from around Mountain, but stopped as soon as she saw him with the turkey in Conway. Um, Jones couldn't help but snap the picture. <laughs> <laughs> so happy he does he looks so accomplished like look what i got look what i, look what I did it didn't I did. even run <laughs> <laughs> oh my god this poor thing i'm just there there's another half of this story we're not seeing yeah. somewhere there's a house it's like what the fuck happened to the turkey <laughs> <laughs> and he just left He's like, I have hey, all I why need. Why didn't you buy a turkey this year? I did. Shut the fuck up. Well, there's no turkey here. It's defrosting in the sink. No, it's there's just a sink full of water. <laughs> there's a couple that's still screaming at each other over this. <laughs> and the dog decided, I have all I need. I'm, I'm leaving. This is all I need. Goodbye. I got a turkey popsicle. And, and that, I'm a happy dog. That is, you can see the collar. You can see the tag. That's somebody's pupper. Yeah. That's somebody's pupper. <laughs> Good dog. <laughs> How do you get... You can't scold him. He's doing what a dog do. <laughs> How do you get angry? After something like this happens, how do you get angry with him? I would, I'm would. i not angry. I'm impressed. <laughs> like, I can't get mad when my cats play with the little tiny slugs that get under the back door. <clears throat> That's what they They're do. Just That's what cats doing say. their job. There was also the time Miracle dragged off an entire steak off my tape. Off my... <laughs> I kind of had to just let her have it. <laughs> that was before I knew Miracle, but yeah, she stole an entire venison steak from him and left a blood trail. Down the hallway. She earned it. Okay, so. <laughs> Bump <Bumpers> with <laughs> us! Um, let's get to something a little less heartwarming. Um, Why? Did, <laughs> did your parents get you a car when you were, when you were uh, going up? Uh, I had a hand-me-down car. I had a... Well, you had, like, Oldsmobile. multiple siblings, so yeah. Yeah, I'm the youngest of three, so I had an Oldsmobile Delta 88 because my dad did not believe we were safe unless we were driving an actual fucking tank. And that Delta 88 had been totaled four times before it came to me, and I added one to that number and then drove it for another ten years. Um, my 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 grandfather left just enough for uh, uh, them to get me a car, and I treasured that car. It was, it was a 94 four-cylinder four Mustang. So it looked it looked cool on the outside, and underneath it, it was like a, a glorified lawnmower. But I, dro <laughs> I drove that one for years after that. Um, but I, I, I had a reverence for the fact that my parents were, were, were good enough to do that for me. This motherfucker, 22-year-old son, keys brand new BMW in dealership to make father buy it for him. Oh, hell no. Spoiled man-child made a rather bold play recently, keying a brand new BMW at a dealership in the 
Jiangxi, Jiangxi, Jiangxi city of uh, Shang, Shang, Shangrao. Shangrao. Thank you. I will learn this stuff. I don't want to be an ignorant white boy all my life. Surveillance footage from inside the showroom shows the 22-year-old man swiping at the rear door of the dark blue sedan with a key, leaving behind a large scratch mark. Let's see if I can pull that up. I don't know if you can see it very well. It's it's a blurry photo. Um, police showed up. The man explained to the police. He told, said this to the police. His father had promised to purchase a nice ride for him as a reward for getting his license. However, his dad had yet to do so prompting the son to force his father's hand by keying the BMW. Oh, I'm sorry. Father sent his ass to jail. Oh, I'm sorry. We won't arrest you. We're sorry. We didn't know. Oh, our bad. Our bad. Yeah, your dad. Oh, your dad didn't buy the car. Okay, well, that may. Oh, that's a different story. You don't have to go to jail now. That's I went to jail. My father would have murdered me. Yeah, like what a little fucking asshole. Right? 22. All right. I was pretty stupid at 22, but I wasn't this stupid at 22. Hell no. This isn't 22 stupid. This is 13 stupid. There are different levels of stupid in your life. You, 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 you I, don't have... know. I learned pretty early. Like when I was a kid and we went to the grocery store, if my mom got a candy bar, I knew that I was not allowed to eat that fucking candy bar until it was scanned because it did not belong to me yet. Mm -hmm. And I still get salty about people who just fucking eat produce in the store and shit. Because it doesn't belong to you yet. We've talked about this. <laughs> that car, even if that car's going to belong to you, it doesn't belong to you yet. It probably isn't going to belong to him. No. And here, the dumbest part is, like, say this brilliant scheme works and your dad buys you this car. Now you've got a fucking scratch BMW. Yeah, I mean, the warranty's not going to cover that shit. So, good job. You've got a cherry car with a huge scratch on it, you fucking idiot. No, but, you know... But I bet he just assumes daddy will get it repainted. No, but th there are levels of stupid. Your 13 stupid is a way different kind of stupid than 16 stupid, which is an even different kind of stupid to 22 stupid. Yeah. Every year of your life, from your adolescence till about, I'd say, age 25... Yeah. And they think we're just bagging on young people. We're not. We we're were not. there. We were there. Yeah. I was a fucking idiot until age like 30 something. Yeah. I'm probably still a fucking idiot now. But we're and stupid. When I'm 50, I'll be like, wow, at 42, I was a fucking idiot. It's kind of petered off. It, 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 there's an arc to it, and it kind of yeah. slowly descends. We're not bagging on young people. We're saying. There's going to come a day when you're 30 or 40 something and you're going to realize something you did when you were 20 and you're going to be like, I was a fucking idiot. Or you're going to look back and realize you thought you knew everything and you thought you were like fucking ready for the world and you were not. Nobody hates you as much as you 10 years from now. Yeah. That motherfucker hates you. So we're not bagging on young people. I mean, sometimes we bag on young people, but when we say this, we're not. We're just telling you how, how it is. Ugh. I fucking hate teenage me. What a little <laughs> asshole. Christ, yes. Um, speaking of assholes, I don't understand this at all. It's This is one of the dickish things we've had, and I don't get it. I don't fucking get it. What the hell happened here? Man called out of work drunk, tried to rob workplace. Okay. Police in Georgia say a man called out of his steak and shake job because he was, quote, intoxicated, then showed up anyway and demanded money while holding a co-worker at gunpoint. Wait, he literally called out drunk? Mm-hmm. That's not a thing. That's not a thing. That's not an excused absence. <laughs> nope. Um, the Gainesville it's Time it's reports... It's the employee handbook. <laughs> it's not. It's not. Gainville Time reports that 20-year-old Kentarius Gowans of Flowery Branch is charged with offenses including aggravated assault. Uh, Oakwood Police Investigator Todd Templeton say Gowans called out on Thanksgiving, went to the restaurant that night, held a gun to a co-worker's head and demanded money. All right, let's pause. Can we time out? Why the fuck is Steak and Shake open on Thanksgiving? For real. Who the shit is going to Steak and Shake on Thanksgiving? Who 
is you, who's, can, you can go a day without your steak and shake. Let the people have Thanksgiving. If you must go someplace on a holiday for food, go to a Chinese restaurant. You will get good food. Yeah. It might not be traditional food, but it will be good food. Don't go to the and steak and shake. You won't really be fucking up their program because they're not into it. Like <clears throat> we usually when we travel to see my family on holidays, we do go to Starbucks on the way. And I'm not even fucking joking. We tip them a 20. Because I know I'm like, you're here because I need caffeine and I'm sorry. Mm. I'm going to do my best to make it up to you. Police say responding officers arrived to see employees running from the business, which had customers at the time. Police say an apparently still intoxicated Gowans briefly raced his gun at officers before dropping it. He was arrested after a brief struggle in which a stun gun was used. It's unclear if Gowans has a lawyer. I'm going to say no. Could have. I'm going to bet no. And the thing is, like, you could have robbed anywhere else but your job. Here's the other part. Like, you know, it is open on Thanksgiving. Walgreens, Wawa, 7-Eleven, gas station. It, you could have robbed any one of those that you don't fucking work at. Here's and didn't call out drunk from. This is what I don't get. If you were going to rob the place, why did you bother to call in drunk? Yeah. That's what's eating my brain up right now. You were going to show up and rob the place, which means you weren't going to be working there no more. Right. You were, you're you're going to get fired anyway. So why did you call in drunk? It's that seems like I used an to love it when my coworkers called out sick and then we saw them in the mall shopping. <sighs> and I was like, man, how dumb are you? <laughs> well, not this dumb. Not that, at least they didn't show up and fucking rob us. Hey, Katarius, I thought you were drunk. Nope. I mean. Oh, you said you were drunk. You got I us. Mean, might have been. He might, he might have been. He might have been. There's nothing that says he wasn't actually drunk. <laughs> but why did he call in? <laughs> You'd have to be pretty drunk to think this was a good idea. <laughs> Sarah says maybe he just wanted to make sure his shift got covered. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's that's very considerate of you. Oh, uh, what would be more considerate would be not robbing people at that too. Oh. Um, we have a first to end the uh, end, end the stories this week, Tara. I, I, those are rare anymore. We've been at this a long ass time. You know, we keep there's a, there's a phrase we use here on Radio Dead Air um, when we encounter someone indulging in intoxicants that of a bizarre and novel variety. And that, that phrase is, the old drugs still work. They do. Well. So I'm told. Fuck me if someone didn't take that a little too literally. No. Motorists use laughing gas while chased by police. Oh, dear. <laughs> a 23-year-old man was arrested in Eve on, on Eid on Thursday evening for causing dangerous traffic situations by using laughing gas while driving. Man was using laughing gas while being <gasps> chased by the police. <laughs> and even filmed the police chase all while driving a car. At around 9.20 p.m., the police reported uh, 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 received a report of a, sus a man using laughing gas behind the wheel and causing dangerous situations. He almost caused a collision. Uh, responding officers spotted uh, then driving an... You're on, on your own there, man. Uh, th that is probably Welsh. That is a Welsh word. Uh, That's just a lot of consonants. Yep. At a place and signaled him to stop. But he ignored this and sped on his way. Um, he drove through another town, crossing the sidewalk, through, and through bicycle parking, um, holding his phone to film the police chasing him. Really? Then he stopped. Apparently, he needed another shot of laughing gas because while police officers were parked next to his car, in the police car, he inhaled two new balloons and sped off again. Short way up the road, police created a roadblock by parking their cars in the street. That didn't stop him. He steered around the cars and escaped by driving over the sidewalk, 
About 10 minutes after the first report, the man came to a stop. Uh, police ordered him to open the car doors, but he ignored them, instead inhaling another balloon of laughing gas. Because he did not respond, the officers broke the car window to open the door. That's Dressed him for dangerous driving behavior and dangerous situations he caused. That's a lot. Although not a drug and not prohibited by law, laughing gas can have the same effect as drunkenness. Police therefore advise not to participate in traffic if you use laughing gas. All right, look. You found a loophole. Congratulations. It's not actually illegal. But. But. Yeah, I learned people do nitrous as a drug outside of just like whippets. When I went to a Dave Matthews concert and there was someone selling balloons for five dollars each. And I was like, that's a weird thing to sell at a Dave Matthews concert. Like there are no kids here. And everybody I was with laughed at me. And then they explained. I was like, oh. Then then like an hour later during the concert, I asked if a skunk had gotten into the arena and they all laughed at me again. Cause it was Dave Matthews concert. I was a square, is what I'm saying. I just... And, and now we're moving to the land of legal weed. Yes, we are. I, I, I'm just... Why laughing gas? Well, okay, it's legal, but why not? Just Why legal. so much? Just, <laughs> just huffing all the nitrous, man. That's a lot. Just blasting. Like that's, that's brain cells. Brain cells aren't coming back, man. You don't get them back. Yeah, it's not a drug. It's just, isn't it mo mainly oxygen deprivation? Or, or yeah. yeah. Because you're filling your lungs with stuff that's not oxygen. Yeah. Which it kind of, it, it it's, makes you pass out. But before you get there, you get very lightheaded and kind of goofy. Did he think he was LARPing blue velvet? Oh my God, I just put, yes. <laughs> Fucking candy colored clown, motherfucker. Holy shit. Oh. I just, I, we have, I've never seen this. We've never, ever, ever. Look, I, I it's not new. It's definitely not new. We've been using I mean, it. Yeah, good, good, good on you taking the advice. However. Maybe you should have stayed home, though. Yeah, the, there is there is literally nothing illegal at staying about staying home and inhaling nitrous oxide. Yeah, look it up. Y you can do that. Just welcome to America. Stay home. Just stay home and do that. Yeah. Oh. Stay home and watch that Speed Racer movie. You'll have a great time. <laughs> You'll feel like you're driving. <laughs> Everybody wins. You'll feel like you're in a high speed chase, but you won't actually be. I just it. Well, I can only imagine what the police were thinking. Like, good God, get out of the car! No. <laughs> <And> like, <laughs> how long did it take him to figure out what was in the balloons? Like, for the first <laughs> when the, the first time he did it, where they're like, "Is he going to yell at us in funny voices?" <laughs> nope. Suck my cock. <laughs> Look and go to hell. No. <laughs> Just what the fucking God. All right, so I guess, I guess the first thing we learned tonight is the old drugs still work, but there's a time and a place. All right, yeah. there's the caveat. Time and a place. Okay. That. Um, For everything, there is a season. We learned if you're going to rob the place, buddy, you don't got to call in. Yeah, just don't bother. Just don't don't bother. You don't got to. No, I, you're not getting a good reference anyway. So and calling in drunk is not going to work anyway. <laughs> I don't know it's going to be an unexcused absence, <laughs> even without the armed robbery. Um, We have learned that uh, just because your parents promise you something doesn't mean it's yours to take. Yeah. Um, That's not how that works. Yeah. Um, we've learned sometimes you just gotta let the dog take the turkey. Bless <laughs> his heart. Sometimes a good boy needs to hunt. 
I mean, how can you be mad at him? I'm not mad. I'm impressed. I would not be able to be mad. Even if that was my turkey, I'd be like, it's his turkey now. You want me to cook it for him? We've learned the reboot of The Grinch is really weird and, and violent. Um, it's one of those gritty reboots. It's a gritty reboot of The Grinch. It's like the Zack, <laughs> it's like the Zack Snyder Grinch. <laughs> Oh, uh, and finally, we've learned that the best Christmas sweater in the world exists and Walmart took it away from us. Walmart ruins everything. I bet you Mike can find it for you. Don't don't make that bet, please. You said you wanted one. I kind of do. I really you know what I do. I kind of want I want that for the Christmas show. That's kind of got my name all over it. Oh, God. I Freaking consumerism. What's wrong with me? I mean, the old drugs still work. <laughs> Santa knows. <laughs> Santa ain't doing no bath salts. No. No, he is. He, he is. is. Definitely. He's, 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 he's walking in a winter wonderland. Yes, he is. With very bloodshot eyes. Yes. 